Hello, Libra. <coughs> Is that really, like, emotive by passive-aggressive in meaty form? Pathetic. Anyway... Welcome to your mid-August to September reading of this current year. Yes, I know, it just began, but, you know, that's how I do. At least a week ahead of time, the 15th. Anyway, hope you all are doing just fan fantastic right now. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Doesn't work if you don't believe in it. Doink your nose. Also, if you want a personal reading after this, my email, Instagram, and Facebook are down below. Just hit me up on one of those. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Because that's usually how I do. Alright, great. Alright, Libra. First card you get. Someone's praying to the gods of Elder Eldridge Origin. I do not know, but they are there, and I realize this. I don't know. Sorry, I was reading H.P. Lovecraft earlier, so... Anyway, yeah, someone's praying to God for some guidance or assistance or maybe some works on faith because, like, they, I, apparently they're leaving after everything got set on fire. Because, you know, everything is behind them is literally on fire. See? King of Wands right here. Could be a Leo. Also a Sagittarius and Aries. This person wants them... Got all the kids surrounding them. Oh, cute. Obstacle and challenge, though, is like riding in back to that fire to argue and shit. Right? Fears and rejections. It's time to let something go. Time to yield something with the hanged man right here. Time's a ticking with this person. Um, what started this shit and how it will end? What will make it come full circle? Magician reverse. Motherfucker trying to poison some folk again. Beginning theme is the Seven of Cups. Trying to fill a void, if you will. At least that's how I see it in this deck, anyway. I don't know, man. Decks always have a different personality to them, and it just seems like it's much more respectful to, you know, see their personalities instead of, like, you know, go by the same old pattern, I guess. Someone's begging the god that fighting is the right answer, and I feel like it's not, because you're wasting time. There's a clock hanging off this dude's boot. I sound like Canadian for a minute. That was kind of cool, but I didn't mean to. And, like, it, it, it's like saying, hey, you need to look at what will actually fill your cups for you. I don't think it's this dude who you're like, I don't know, it's like you ran away from a disaster to go to something barren. And it's like this King of Wands, he looks good, but at the same time, there's a magician right after him. And it's just like, don't run into the arms of a crazy ass magician. That is so not a good idea. <laughs> Alright, this Hierophant, someone is praying to the gods. You know? Not really acknowledging the emotions that they have, which are probably really nettled ones. And coming off like a bit of an old psychopath. Just a, just a crazy old hag. Like those bitches off Skyrim that like squawked like birds and probably smelled like trash. <clears throat> like someone is ignoring the emotions that are there. But asking for assistance because they know it's driving them crazy and making them old. I don't know. Six of Swords. Someone is ballooning their way away from a disaster. Moving to fresher, clearer waters. Um, because they are stuck on having control? Or having things done their way? Because they're the king? Got three cards for this one. Not really trying to listen to their guides. Got, or they're trying to summon something that isn't there because... This turned out to all be a waste of time. It's like, um, looking for the, uh, the fountain of youth in the form of love. Looking for the fountain of youth in the form of love. And it's just been this endless fucking adventure. 
So that's because they haven't been listening to people because they gotta have, they're like a backstreet boy walking down the street like. I don't ever want to hear you say that I want it that way. Because, you know, we're doing it my fucking way. It's kind of like... It, it's like they're just ignoring your actual instincts. Okay, this King of Wands, right? He looks cool. He hangs out with kids. Everybody loves him, right? Uh, he's pretty childish when he takes off, though. He's riding a unicorn, though. That isn't... Booty card man, I don't know, but I don't feel like it's a booty call. I just feel like he's ready to go somewhere. Um, because he asks for shit a lot. Like he's supposed to be the, like he's supposed to be the provider. He's supposed to have fruit, but all his fruit is rotting. Like he doesn't take care of things the way he's supposed to. And he's ready to leave or go somewhere impulsively if he doesn't have things catered to him. And it's like, over here, this person's praying to God, but they're ignoring their actual feelings about this shit, and that's what's driving them crazy. It's like, please, please let me and, like, the dude who talks to Buffalo Bill, like, um... And make up really well and like everything will work out just fine and not looking at the fact that like they absolutely hate this guy who talks to his stupid fucking buffalo because that's all he ever really does is talk to his buffalo doesn't talk to her and i think she tries to communicate a lot but it always comes off erratic well meanwhile he's just like yeah um bye i'm gonna go spend money somewhere else get a bar 10 bucks because i need 30 for the casino and i only got 20. well it's my last 10 bucks yeah but it's casino night Whatever, I'll just get out of your purse. Uh, it just... I don't know, it's kind of like chaotic. Got the Knight of Swords down here, someone wants to jump in. Run and argue and shit, but that's the obstacle child to coming against him. Um, it's like asking for a dead new beginning, like it's hollow. All these people are just zombies, they're not really people. You know what, somebody in a um, group I'm in... That's a really interesting question. It's just like, um, is having sex with a vampire necrophilia? Everybody else said no. I said yes because just because they're undead does not mean that they're not dead. They're not alive. So they're totally still, like, dead. If they're not dead, they're not alive. Which means that they're not, like, I don't know. It just makes more sense to me that they're alive. That it's yes. And that they're not alive. Because they are pretty much walking corpses. Like, they eat blood and such to survive. That's all I'm saying. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, they're scared of somebody. This could be Leo, once again. Also Capricorn in here. The devil. Hmm. Like, they want to resurrect something dead with somebody they're afraid of? Because they got the Knight of Swords and, like, it, like, it's like bravado. Like, you know, he's, um, he's in an arena. Not actually charging forward into a battle, but more like doing a whole stage thing where it's like, I will be the strongest and the greatest in the entire world. But then when it comes down to it, it's just like they become pussy. They're really cowering with their pussy in front of a devil. And the devil's just like, hey, y'all want some donuts? They got some really good donuts at Bob Evans, man. It's like chocolate cake chocolate glaze and it's like mmm no that's good are you sure because the shit's delicious no nah, that's good thanks you know but they but they want this though and that's an obstacle to go through something dead they gotta like to resurrect something that's been dead for a while they gotta go face what it is they fear and it's like their bravado is just all for show it's like um Your bark is worse than your bite. And no one's worried about your bark anymore because you're only like a three inch tall yipper. Hmm. Mind you, King of Wands is here twice. But he's reversed this way. You know? That's like he became kind of a brat. No, that's why the children are in this one, because it's like he becomes childish when he doesn't have things exerted the way he wants them to. And it's like what this person wants is to be able to go forward to somebody who they think is not productive. 
establish their rule over them almost right but the problem is they're terrified of the person they want to approach about the dead subject like spooked like all their talk is bravado like they might and like they might just be sitting there talking shit about this person but as soon as they come in the room they're like fucking crickets like they chirp all fucking day but then as soon as you get close enough to them they shut right the fuck up fucking crickets <laughs> That's what this person kind of does. They rabble on in the mouth, and it's like no one's really paying attention to them either. It's just like, yeah, you say this, you say that, but what are you really doing? Like, other than wasting our time, you know? Go go work at a tree. Go piss on a tree and, and let it know it belongs to you. You know? That kind of... <laughs> just crazy shit, man. Uh, people are so interesting when I read for them. They really are. I love it, though. Okay, the hanged man. Someone is fearing and rejecting the idea that they need to make a choice, even though there's a clock on their boot ticking. <clears throat> a tick, talk, the ticky, the ticky to the tick, tick, talky, you don't stop. Uh, they need to make a choice. They're just kind of running away from that decision because they don't want to work with somebody. Or they don't want to cooperate. Where they feel like they can't cooperate with the person that they are not charging to. Openly not charging to them. Which is like, you know, bravado. You know, you say, like, somebody, Libra Crosswatchers also uh, switch around what you need to. You know, no judgment here. But it's like whoever this querent is that I'm reading for, right? It's like, they talk a lot of shit for somebody who isn't doing much of anything. It's like they're sitting there praying to God for something to happen, but they're not even acknowledging their own emotions, and that's why they're becoming old and crazy. Like, they want to escape all of the things that, like, they think don't serve them, but it's because, like, they're so busy thinking that something should happen their way. Like, what they want to do, sure, is the right thing, but unfortunately, they're a little bit too arrogant to do that. Um, they talk a lot about possibly doing it, or they bring it up a lot, but it's kind of like, you know... Are you actually going to do it, or are you just going to keep saying you're going to do it? You know? Like, you can't procrastinate forever, and that's coming from me, and I'm a Capricorn. Like, I try it. <laughs> Maybe you get three cards on this one. I'll give it to you. Alright. This magician... Bro, the one who's trying to cast poison and all this shit, right? Might be causing some chaos or black magic to occur. Might be trying to do some voodoo, hoodoo, nasty, nasty things to somebody. Wants to travel, but they can't surrender their vices or their betties for doing the right thing. Or looking for justifications to do so with the justice card. Libra, that's you too. They might not even be willing to sacrifice for you over here. And you're sitting here on your throne waiting carefully and um, calmly for them to um, unfuck themselves, pretty much. And they're just looking for ways to escape. And it's just kind of like, Jesus Christ on a cracker, man. Like, whatever. You just do whatever you want. Why does the ending theme? This show ended a while ago, and it wasn't filling you up the way a cup should. It didn't successfully take off, I feel like. Not the way it was supposed to. Might have left you feeling like your hopes and dreams are just dashed a little bit more than they were yesterday. Kind of sad. To be fair, though, at least you have a valuable lesson in this where, like, you know, you learned what to watch out for when it comes to a person and commitment. No. Secrets came out. Pisces or Cancer right there. That, um, quelled all this petty drama and bullshit, right? Oh, okay. Someone decided to take off on a new adventure because their brain was all, like, na 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 Like does not compute losing my shit now someone doesn't need to weigh their options on how they're going to go about things or go travel to places um either to an empress or this is where they can be comfortable with 
who they are and stretch out their legs the way they want to. Libra, this could be you getting assistance or helping people get balanced out. Or you're looking for a balance in order to successfully become this empress. Right now, you're just young on your throne looking all pretty and shit. Being like, I'm gonna learn how to rule this proper. Now you got your strength right here, Leo, once again. Like, you might be, like, taming your shadow side or your beasts in preparation for this. Because it seems like you have a message to deliver. It's just taking you a bit to get there, right? Or something's taking a while to get to you. Um, it's been slowly coming and building. So this is good. Like, this is after dealing with this fuckhead. Okay. This is a good thing. Yeah, and right now, you are on your way. You're a very young empress, but you are on your way to becoming the empress. All by yourself, because this person, I feel like, was a waste of your time. All right, Libra. That was your reading. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I love your faces. I will see you guys tomorrow. Or whenever. I don't know. I'll see you pretty soon, though. Alright, bye.